Hello everybody and welcome back to this channel. It has been a very hot minute, I know, and by hot I mean oh my god it is scorching outside. It has been like 105 degrees every single day here in Texas. It is awful. I did not think that Texas was going to be like more of a dry heat because I used to live in Houston. It was very humid there, but for some reason around the area that we're in it is so dry, I would think that we were still living in Las Vegas. This honestly was not the video that I thought. I know everyone says that when they come back to YouTube or when they put out a video like this. It's honestly not the video that I thought that I was going to upload first when I came back to YouTube, at least not on this channel. But I figure what better time than now. I've honestly been sitting on these messages and these screenshots for a good long while. And so... I might as well just expose them, right? And honestly, if you're the person that I'm talking about in this video because I know that you are watching, you knew it was coming. The relationship that I am about to describe to you guys was definitely a rules for the not for me type of situation where let me have my cake and I'm gonna eat it elsewhere as well. Like real talk, I've never understood a man or anyone in a relationship for that matter. If someone knows that you are cheating on them and they confront you about it numerous times, like, hey, you're cheating, stupid on that person for not leaving, but you know what? It is what it is. People make stupid decisions all the time. But when someone confronts you like, hey, you're cheating, shows you proof that they have proof of you cheating and you still try to deny it and make them look crazy. But then you also don't want to have an open relationship with that person because they're getting some, but then you're also getting some and still trying to lie about it. Like I literally found out that this man was going to glory holes y'all off of the Craigslist. I don't know if y'all remember the Craigslist back in the day, but you could go on there and you could have your little anonymous meetings and all that fun shit. Ooh! the stories I could tell y'all. I'm actually looking down at my phone right now because you know how when you go into photos, you can see when you added a screenshot or you can see when you took a photo. Things went wrong so quickly in our relationship. So on July 3rd, 2015, I literally took a picture showing off a ring and I also had just bought a new Hermes bracelet. So I was showing that as well. I think I actually sent this photo to my ex-husband after I took it. And then just a few short weeks later, July 21st, 2015 is when I have the messages right here, which you can see. I'm not going to show that one exactly because I do have to blur some things when it comes to this but you guys can see that I do have the grinder message right there and then at the top can you guys see the top I think you can kind of see it. It says July 21st, 2015. There are some very choice words that I used in these grinder messages. Let me give you a little backstory into 2015 and that part of my life because at that time I was still very much going back and forth from Florida to New York City for modeling and I was spending a lot of time in New York City and look, I'm gonna be completely honest. Whenever I was in a relationship back in the day, I would always say, I'm gonna be traveling a lot. It is not fair for me to be in this relationship with you if you want to be with me while you're here having to run a business and you're not being able to do anything, okay? I've always been very upfront with anyone that I've dated. If I was going to be traveling a lot and I would be traveling alone, it's like, girl, go out there. Let's have an open relationship, that's fine. But it's always been met with, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. And then you just find out that they're literally everything under the sun, it's like, girl, you didn't want it, but damn. Whenever I would be traveling to New York, I would always receive messages from my friends or just mutuals that would be on those apps like Grindr or Scruff, and they'd be like, hey, I think that I just found your husband on here. Is this him? And they would send me the message, of course. Or I would just receive messages like, hey, do you know your husband is out at this club at this time? And I'm like, girl, I don't give a fuck if he's out of the club. Girl, go, why? first of all, why are you at the club? You're over 40. You know, honestly, now that I'm looking back at these screenshots and just looking back at a lot of things that took place over this relationship, I'm sitting here thinking like, why did I stay for so long? Like, why did I put up with this and honestly I feel like I just stayed for so long because I didn't want to admit that my marriage was not working like fully was I aware that this person was not good for me and this was a very toxic situation I was but I was just being young and stupid like holy shit this was literally a project for myself because I knew that this man was cheating on me so much and I knew what apps he liked to use so I had like five different fake accounts on Grindr and on Scruff that I was catfishing this mother on and he had to get up every single morning during the week and drive very far like I'm talking like four five o'clock in the morning because he would have to drive from Orlando down to like West Palm Beach but along the way he was trying to stop and get his old dick sucked. After a while, I have to say, he did start to get a little bit annoyed with the people that were messaging him very early in the morning because nothing was ever coming to fruition. It was obviously just me fishing for information, getting photos, getting the phone number, getting the address, all of that kind of stuff, but nothing ever happened and I ended up getting blocked. Well, lo and fucking behold, one night I was talking to my friend Vanessa and I was like, I'm really bored over here. Like, what are we gonna do tomorrow? Let's do something, let me come spend the night. So I went over to her house and I was like, girl, it's coming up in that time, I need to make a new profile. So I'm literally sitting at her kitchen table. It's probably like one o'clock in the morning. I think that's what the screenshot says. It's either between midnight or one o'clock in the morning. I make the account. I have the new photo up and all of that. And I shit you guys not. My friend Vanessa lived completely across town from where I lived at that time. And I 
fucking shit you not. Literally within fucking minutes of having this profile, not even messaging anyone first, I receive a message from an account that has no photo. My ex-husband was trying to say that he was 29 years old. I don't know in what world. But literally as the message came through, I didn't even look at it yet. I just saw the profile that did not have any photo on it at all. And I looked at her and I was like, girl, I bet you this is going to be my husband. And sure enough, I cannot make this shit up. It was. And trust me, I took the opportunity and I ran with it. As I'm sitting there at my friend Vanessa's kitchen table going back and forth with him on Grindr trying to set up this meeting between us I'm telling her like I really need you to drive me across town like I know that it's very late but I'm about to go confront this motherfucker once and for all with this. He literally thinks that I'm just some random person coming over so this could literally not be a better situation for me. As we're in the car I'm telling him that I really would like for him to leave the front door unlocked and him be naked on the master bedroom bed just waiting for me to get there because I mean that's like what I'm into. It's like so hot like oh my god it's gonna be such a good time and this mother did y'all <laughs> this stupid mother let me tell you our door handles in that house were all automated so you had to like either unlatch it or unlock it but you only had a certain time frame to do that in so i can only imagine <laughs> I can only imagine this man walking over to this front door and unlocking it and then like running back really quick to the bed just trying to get like ass up or whatever the fuck he was doing. So at 1 in the morning, he asked me if I was close because I told him that we were on the way and I said, yeah, are you ready? He said, yes. I said, unlock the door and be naked on the bed. Which room? He said, the door on the right. Of course, I know exactly where the master bedroom is and all the lights were off in the house. The only light that was on was the glow from our fish tank that was literally in the living room it was like kind of like a shotgun house almost so when you walked in it was like a really long it was like the living room went into like the dining room and the kitchen was to the right so it was a very long room there was a fish tank in it and that lit up this whole entire space but you couldn't see like who was coming like if you wanted to fucking see i had my friend vanessa parked down the road i got out of the car and i snuck on over to the house that we lived in and I was hiding around the corner like so much hiding around the corner that I literally heard him unlatch this front door and I could hear <laughs> I could hear the footsteps just going back because it was a hardwood floor after I heard the door unlock and I gave him enough time to make his way back to the bedroom and get in whatever position or do whatever the hell he was going to do I then made my way into the house and no I was not walking with a quickness I was walking on normal speed so nothing would seem like foul play until I got to the bedroom and right when I got to the bedroom door I flicked that bedroom light on and all I heard was Ooh. <laughs> I wish I had a sound recording of this sound because it was a genuine sound of shock. And then I stomped my little happy ass over to that side table and I went to grab his phone because he was literally trying to deny that he was on Grindr trying to hook up with people. But I'm like, why am I here then with the door unlocked and you're laying on this bed naked? So I went to grab his phone accidentally and I want to put emphasis on the word accidentally because I swear to God, it was a accident. The lamp went with it. I <laughs> look. I don't know how it happened. I tried to grab the phone somehow, I grabbed a lamp too, and it just went over onto the bed. Oh Lord. <clears throat> and at that point, of course, I did the normal shit that someone would do in that situation. I'm leaving, I'm packing my shit, I'm going, blah, 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 you're cheating on me. Just the same spiel that everyone would give every single time that they're literally not gonna leave but they want the person to think they're gonna leave but being sitting there being a complete idiot is what i was doing if there was one thing in this situation as i do have this like burned into my memory it'll probably be in my memory for the rest of my life because it is like a lifetime movie it was like just crazy to me that i was even like partaking in this situation and getting to experience this one thing that i wish that i would have done because these were brand new hardwood floors they were so gorgeous they were like a cherry wood so pretty we had a very like a good sized fish tank that i told you guys about that was like in the living room i really wish that i would have just knocked it on the way out because i did have an umbrella in my hand it was a louis vuitton umbrella i was not about to leave that shit i just wish i would have like you know just ruin those floors so now that i'm sitting here talking about this and reliving that whole entire situation it's unlocking other memories in my mind of just how much up shit this guy would do in this relationship like for example this one time i was in california i had a friend out there that i would always stay at their place when i went but they were never in town they were either in europe or they were back in florida and i had known this guy for years like way before i even knew the person that i was married to and so i'm in california this guy is in orlando as well as where my husband is in orlando of course on grinder on his anonymous profile and he sees this guy that i'm staying at his place over in california and starts harassing him on the app saying i know that you guys slept together before i know what you're doing all this because i'll get you blah, 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 blah. like what and then come to find out later that night he went one of my friends so with all that said everyone that is it for this video i hope that you guys did enjoy it now i can finally delete these screenshots off of my phone because that's all they are they're trash so i love you guys and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye